What's up guys, it's Franchise923 and in this video I want to show you how we can use ArcPy in Python to quickly create a bunch of file geodatabases and also add a mosaic data set to the file geodatabase. Um, this is really handy and useful and I actually had to do this in one of my projects uh, so I just figured I would quickly make a video on how you can do that. So I'm just going to show you what I have right now and run it. Um, and then I'll show you how exactly we, we did this. So you can see it's creating multiple file geodatabases in this directory. So we have it going through a loop of 100. So it's it's if we let this run the entire time, it's going to create 100 file geodatabases and add um, to each of those file geodatabases, add a mosaic data set. Um, so, you know, we could also add like a feature class to this file geodatabase. It doesn't have to be a mosaic data set. But the point is like this is how you could, uh, you know, iteratively create file geodatabases and do something with it. Um, so yeah, if that sounds interesting, let's uh, keep watching and let's get started. So I'm actually just going to kill this script because it's going to create all these file geodatabases and I'm going to actually just get rid of all of these for now. All right, and I'm going to make a new script call it uh, make fgdbs all right so the first thing we're going to do is import arcpy and now let's go to arcgis pro and this is sort of a cool little trick that i you guys should know about so i'm going to connect to that folder where i was um, this fgdb folder so that's just where all those file geodatabases were getting made and I'm going to create a file geodatabase there manually. So if I go to geoprocessing, and if you don't have this tab down here, just go to analysis and then click tools and it'll pop up. So just click or search for create file geodatabase. And we're just gonna manually create a file geodatabase here. I'm going to call it FGDB underscore one and just run that. And now here's the cool part. If you click open history and you right click this, we can copy the Python command. So this is a pretty cool trick. Um, it's how I've been doing it lately. Instead of Googling how to do it, I just do this and it, it tells us the exact command we need to use. So just copy. So basically the point is replicate your functionality in pro and then take it to a Python script. So whatever workflow you want to do, do it manually in pro first and then copy the script or the, the Python command. So I'm going to paste that and let's just run that. So I'm going to change it to file GDB two because we already created one manually. So if I just say two and just run this, we should see it get created. So there we go, we have a two created. So let's go ahead and now make it so we can use a for loop. So if I say for FGDB in range, and let's just say 10 for now, we're gonna wanna do this 10 times. So the next thing here, we have to basically um, create this structure here so it knows the, the correct name. So outside of this loop, actually no, not outside. Well, yeah, outside of the loop, let's make a, a variable called our, our working directory. And this is just gonna be basically where you want the file geodatabases to go. directory so I'm gonna copy this address as text and that's where that's like my working area so let's do that now we can build off of this directory so we need to say create file geodatabase so here is basically the working directory that's all that's that what that parameter is so I'm going to use something called f strings now. Instead, I used to use the format to put variables in the strings, but 
this is like the newer way of doing it. So if you put an F in front of a string and you put curly braces in it, inside here you can put a variable. So I'm gonna, gonna put the working directory. Okay. So what this is gonna do is instead of what we had hard coded before, it's gonna be the working directory variable. And here's what we're going to um, use the loop for. So I'm gonna do that F string again. So I put an F in front of the string and then I put an underscore and then put curly braces. And now you see how it turns orange. That means we can put a variable in there. So we're just gonna put FGDB. So FGDB, the first time this loops is gonna be zero, then one, then two. So this is gonna be um, file geo database one, two, or zero, one, two, three. So let me get rid of these. Okay, let's open in pro. That's always annoying. Okay, let's close pro. Skip. All right, so this should work and just create 10 geo databases already exists. FGDB2. Why did it say that? Oh, it's because I, up here, I manually created two and then it tried to create another one. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay, boom, there you go. <laughs> Quickly created 10 geo databases. Um, so yeah, now you can do whatever you would wanna do next. So for example, I was adding uh, a mosaic data set, but instead of doing that, I'll show you, you can just do whatever you want. So I'm gonna open pro back up and instead of a mosaic data set, let's just create like a feature class. So I'm going there to, I'm gonna um, basically do that in pro first. So here's a blank file geo database. I'm just gonna say, actually I'm gonna use the geoprocessing tool and say create feature class, feature class name. I'm just gonna call it FC, let's call it FC underscore one. Let's make it a point. and just run. If we open history, right click and copy Python command, I'm gonna just look at it in notepad first. So here's the basic command. All right. So we need to make this after we have a file geo database. So at this point, we've created a file geo database. Now we need to create the feature class. Okay, so now it's wondering, input here is what, what file do your database are you talking about? So it's um, gonna be these two things combined, right? So let's say, let's make a new variable called fgdb um, equals, we need to import OS. Oops. equals os.path.join. So we want to join this. So again, that's just, just that with this. So let's just print fgdb first make sure it looks like what we're expecting. Oh, nope, so we gotta add fgdb dot gdb. Because we need the full path of the file geo database. That looks good, so that's what we can use for input now. So we're gonna use that for input in this. See how it looks like that. So let's get rid of this 
And we just need to give it FGDB. Let's call this FGDB full path. FGDB full path. And feature class. We don't want to call it feature class one because every time, well, we could, but we don't want to do that. Actually, I guess that would make sense. If it's a new file geodatabase, it would be the first feature class. Um, yeah, so let's just say, um, let's add some print statements. Print um, creating FGDB full path. And now let's say creating actually let's put this variable up here and then add this right before we actually do it. And now we'll say creating feature class in okay all right let's give this a try and actually i want to add a new line a new like a space um so let's all right let's run this creating file database creating feature class all right, cool. So it looks like it worked. Now let's just go in pro and take a look. Make sure it looks like, so we need to connect to that folder. So YouTube videos. Okay. And there you go. We have a feature class in every one of these file geodatabases and it's called FC underscore one. And it's just empty at this point, but I hope now you can see kind of where we're going with this and how we can, how powerful this is. Cause we could, you know, instead of saying create 10, we could say create a thousand. Um, yeah. So that's just what I, what I wanted to share in this video. Um, yeah, hope it was helpful. And if you guys are happy and interested in more videos, just please subscribe to my channel and, uh, it, it helps me create more videos. All right. Thanks.